Hey y'all, I'm your girl Rail, and this is my channel, Fly Reads, coming at y'all once again with another Fly Read. Now, today I'm going to be doing a review on a book called The Pink Palace by Marlon Mikulski. And like I said, I'm not the best at names, but um, don't be acting all stank if I pronounce it wrong. But, uh, you know, I seen it as Marlon Mikulski. So, The Pink Palace by Marlon Mikulski, and it is a triple crown publication. Y'all, y'all don't understand. Me, personally, I love triple crown. I love them, love them, love them. I go to the store, and I find myself specifically looking for these books. Now, I mean, I have a lot of favorites. I have a lot of, you know, tops one two and three you know but this um publications would definitely be one of my top three um i seen this book and i had to get it and as you can see it's a lot of bang for your book now this book is really good before i even get into it i just want y'all to know this book is really good i'm going to recommend this book but at the same time i'm going to say this book was really cliche to, to me i mean it was a story about a girl named Janelle Taylor, aka Monique. She was a stripper and she worked for a strip club called The Pink Palace, hence the name of the book. And she was tricking, hoeing, stripping, doing whatever she gotta do basically to get the money. Now, she's one of those um, you know, characters that's, oh, I strip to go to school. You know, but have you ever sit in a tuition office and seen a stripper walk in there with a big ass stack of ones like, yeah, hey, I'm trying to pay, you know, three thousand dollars in tuition. Like, I mean, I haven't sat in community tuition offices, but then again, you know, whatever. Anywho, <laughs> um, she works at a strip club and she meets a lot of guys and you know, she really like, oh, I'm all about this money, I ain't falling in love, blah blah. And then she meets this guy named Tommy and she really cannot pinpoint what it is about him, but something is funny, but she catches feelings for him. So she's, you know, living this story. But the readers know what's really going on because you know the story goes back and forth between her storyline and Tommy's storyline. So you know what it is, but she don't, and you know, she finds out middle toward the end what's really going on with Tommy. This book was really good, y'all. I'm not giving away no details, so, you know, don't be like, oh, real, you giving away all the details. I am not, okay? <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm telling y'all, I really go out and get this book. It was really, really well written, for one. It really was. You know, you don't come across too many Urban Lit books that's really well written. You know, this book was really well written. You could really, really um, relate to the characters. I really have to recommend this book. So, go out and get this book. It's a must read, and even if you don't read it, then you're just looking for, you know, a pretty cover to put on your bookshelf. I mean, boom, there you go. Um, make sure you get this book, add it to your collection, do what you're going to do, but read this book. So, with that being said, I got a lot more books to get through, so I'm going to have to holler at y'all later. So, deuces.